Hi guys, this is a TP-Link Omanda EAP225 wireless access point, which can provide high performance of Wi-Fi. The Omanda series offers managing and monitoring network devices through a centralized software controller. So a lot of people will choose this to install in a large area. Now, let's imagine you have to install four of those access points around your house. Hmm. So must we pull all four cables all the way back to the router for your house? Well, it depends. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about how to pull only a single Ethernet cable back to the router and install four SS points at the same time. But before we jump to the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our updates. Now, imagining you are adding four access points around your big house in different corners. In the traditional way, you will have to pull Ethernet cable from each access point and pull it all the way back to the router. Now, it might be a difficult installation due to some walls or other obstacles between the ways. And also, it will use four ports of your router. Now, every access point comes with a PoE injector in the package. The PoE injector allows you to power your access point through Ethernet cable. Because not all routers have PoE feature built in, so you might need the PoE injector to power your access point if you don't have an external power source at the access point. Now, not only it used up four ports of your router, you will also need to add four injector in order to power up your four access point. So it might be a complex, complex installation. That's why I suggest you to use the outdoor PoE switch. You can simply put the outdoor PoE switch between your four access point and pull a single cable back to your router. And without talking, Let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you how to do the setup and explain the details along the way. So here we are in front of the board. Now you can see we have a little setup to do in just a minute. This is the outdoor PoE switch. We know that it can work outside by its name. It has IP67 waterproof design. The working temperature is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. So it can work under a harsh environment and also prevent the rain and the dust from the PoE switch. Now, depends on your layout, you can put it outdoor to shorten the distance with your SS point. Now, the PoE switch can also carry both data and power through a single Ethernet cable. Now, it can simplify the installation and also reduce the amount of the cable that required. But one thing to keep in mind, it needs an AC outlet. But considering you don't have to add four injectors for each access point, you only need one AC outlet to power our PoE switch, and the PoE switch will power up four access point at the same time. Now, without talking, let's do the connection together. Let's do the connection from the beginning. This is the router, which is our main network. And you can see our router only have three available ports. It can even supply up to four access points. And don't say if you have to add other device connect with the router, obviously you don't have enough port to use. So today we only need to use one port because we only need one single ethernet to connect with our outdoor PoE switch. Here we go, just simply plug in with the ethernet cable now, let's connect with our outdoor PoE switch. It already has a power source built in. Now, let's put it in here with our main network. Now, remember our PoE, outdoor PoE switch needs to have an outdoor AC outlet. So let me turn it on. And don't worry if you don't have an external power source available because we still have another solution and we will talk about it later. Now let's finish the connection. I have four access points, so I'm going to just plug all four short patch cord in, in order to install our access point. 
I'm going to plug in four in random port. So we have one uplink, so it leaves us seven ports available. So not only four access points we can add, we can add up to seven. Okay, now this side is all set. I'm going to connect with our first access point and see if it works. Now, here we go. You can see the indicator lights is already on, so the first one is working already. Let's connect to number two access point. Here we go. And I'm just going to connect all four together. And keep in mind, the outdoor PoE switch allows you to extend up to 320 feet distance. All right, so we are all set now. Everything is all set up and the access points are working fine. So make sure you use a pure copper cable like a Cat5e or a Cat6 during the operation. The pure copper has a superior conductivity compared to other materials. Also, it can provide fast data trans transfer rates and it is reliable for a PoE power delivery. Now remember that we said if you don't have an AC outlet available at the site, then we can use an outdoor PoE power switch with a 90 watts PoE injector. With the outdoor PoE power switch, you don't need to require a power source at the site. And if you want to know more about how to use the outdoor PoE power switch to install devices, now you can watch another video right here. So thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.